Hello everyone, welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Young and the Restless spoilers for Friday, January 26, Victoria Newman will likely be thinking a lot and may come to the conclusion that Jordan has once more harmed Claire Grace's delicate mental state. Jordan told an orderly that she was Claire's mother, and the orderly thought Victoria was the person on the other end of the phone, so she gave Claire a phone. After speaking with Jordan, Claire seemed quite agitated and could have displayed some concerning warning indicators on Friday's broadcast. When Victoria finds out what happened, she may attempt to console her daughter, but Claire may appear aloof and begin to withdraw once again. In any event, Victoria will be in difficulty and Nate Hustings will ask her to talk. Despite the failure of their love relationship, Nate has promised Victoria that he will always be a friend and listen to her. On Friday's Y&R episode, Victoria will undoubtedly require Nate's consolation, so it seems likely that she will break down in front of him and receive some help. She'll irritate Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, a little bit following her breakup with Diane Jenkins Abbott, maybe as a result of seeing a close encounter between Nikki and Jack Abbott. Even though Diane will respect Jack's wish to support Nikki through her battle with alcoholism, she might mark her territory just in case. In any case, if Jack finds out Diane is attempting to get under Nikki's skin, he won't be happy and might advise her to stop. Jack might believe Diane should make an effort to be more sympathetic to his ex-spouse's problems because Nikki already has a lot on her plate. Speaking of ex-problems, Ashley Abbott has a lot on her plate because she believes Tucker McCall is deceiving her about what transpired in Paris. Ashley is beginning to question what she thought to be real, but she made a suggestion about how to find out the truth. Ashley might be able to sort through her thoughts with the aid of hypnosis, but that wouldn't be a fair representation of what transpired. Ashley needs to consider this from a different angle because it would still be a matter of he said, she said. Finding security footage would be Ashley's greatest chance to obtain indisputable evidence of what actually transpired. At the very least, one of the wait staff members may have witnessed the noisy confrontation and recognized Tucker and Ashley from their professional backgrounds. Nevertheless, Tracy Abbott will accept Ashley's new approach and has some faith in her sister, so she will make an effort to assist Ashley in solving the mystery. According to teasers for The Young and the Restless, Ashley will be hoping for some straightforward updates. Tune in to discover what secrets she might be able to unearth with Tracy's help. According to The Young and the Restless previews on Wednesday, January 25, Nikki Newman will express her gratitude to Jack Abbott for his assistance and say that things have improved since she realized she needed it. Even if Nikki had a few drinks, she will insist that she wasn't intoxicated and pretend as though Victor Newman doesn't need to know about her most recent mishap. Jack will contend that keeping things secret worsens the situation for addicts, but Nikki won't want to start again with a new sponsor or tell Victor that she turned to Jack. Even though Jack still finds secrets offensive, he'll consent to test Nikki's strategy for the time being and keep Victor in the dark. Nikki is going to tell Jack what Jordan did to her and what's going on with Claire. Grace. Before her most recent setback, Nikki's visit to Claire at the psych unit triggered unpleasant feelings, so she'll talk about it and get assistance. Nikki will give Jack a heartfelt embrace in appreciation and receive another assurance that he won't tell Victor anything. Nikki will decline Jack's offer to drive her back to the ranch because it will be a little late to go to an AA meeting, and she will arrange for the Newman driver to drive her back instead. On Wednesday's episode of Y and R, when Claire is by herself, she will respond and get frightened that Jordan is the one she is speaking to. Jordan will caution Claire against hanging up and attempting to win her great niece over again. Jordan will counter that Claire won't want to spend any more time with the Newmans, since they will ultimately destroy her. Claire will constantly state that she wants Jordan dead before hanging up, even after she has cleaned her hands of Jordan. Jordan will be displeased that Claire ended the call and gave the phone back to the orderly. 
Claire will curl up in her bed and grieve by herself after she confesses that the devil was the one who had phoned her. When Adam Newman of Newman Enterprises overhears Victoria and Victor talking about Claire eventually becoming a member of the family, he will become worried. Given that Claire is a mentally sick felon, Adam will attempt to apply the brakes, but Victoria will laugh and act as though he's worried that they will all come to love Claire more than he does. Adam will argue that his worries are for Jordan and deny that he receives no love from Victoria. Adam will be alarmed to learn that Claire is paying Jordan a visit in prison, especially after learning that Victoria is unaware of the specific topics of their conversation. Adam will speculate that Claire might be scheming to get Jordan, or that she might try to get her great-aunt recognized as a reformed person. Victor will reassure Adam that won't occur and advise his son to put his faith in Victoria's discernment. Nick Newman would counter that Victoria has made it obvious that her kid comes first. Adam will believe that Victoria would be more open to receiving counsel from Nick. Nick will support Victoria and argue that since Adam has spoken his opinions, he should move on. Adam will nevertheless be concerned that Jordan may escape from prison and retaliate against the Newmans. Even after Nicky shows there and tells Adam that everything is under control, Adam won't appear to be persuaded. Nicky will report back to Victoria later on Claire's visit. During the supervised exercise sessions, Claire disclosed that she saw the pediatric wing. Nicky will feel that these walks are beneficial, but Victoria will find it sad that Claire admires the families there. Abby Newman Abbott will present the notion of joining the board at Chancellor Winters once more, and Devin Hamilton Winters will acknowledge that he has given it some thought and gives his approval. Devin intends to get a written statement about Abby's new role and present it to the board shortly since she provides them with insightful, frank advice and could be able to help them defend themselves against Tucker McCall. They're going to society together after Devon asks Abby to review the specifics over lunch. He'll chat to Heather Stevens about their tryst at Daniel Romolotti Jr.'s residence and acknowledge that Lurley Winters deserves better. Although Heather won't dispute that, she will also believe that her relationship with Daniel is far more intimate. Following another sales pitch for their future, Heather will offer to let Daniel buy her a late lunch with no conditions. Soon later, Abby and Devon would discover Heather and Daniel seated at society. Before Devon sits down next to Abby at a table, Heather will pretend that they are meeting to discuss Lucy Romolotti's schedule. Abby will wonder what's going on, though, since a suspicious Devon will not stop staring at Daniel and Heather's intimate table for two. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.